Hi everybody, Bruno go back with another Mapcraft 2017 showcase. This time it's fucking mental Jim Rayner by Butane Boss. Now this is a man who has worked on Doom custom content before the original Doom. Uh, so he knows his way around an old games editor. At least that, that is what I am told. And I've actually played a very early version of this map, but obviously didn't make a video about it. And uh, it was it was pretty entertaining. And it's pretty comedic, so I'm interested in seeing where he's taken it since. Uh, since obviously he worked on it over the course of the three months that we had the Mapcraft contest going and uh, had originally released like a more public version before deciding to submit it, which is the whole reason that I have any prior knowledge of its existence at all. So here we go, a survival map by Butane Boss, single player. But I don't think anyone should play this. If you're gonna play, play on fastest. Well, that we will, good sir. Jim Rayner has gone fucking mental. In his blind rage and sick lust for blood, Rayner has destroyed every single civilization in the universe single-handedly. Amon was no exception. He died like a little pussy. The final survivors of Rayner's madness have become tired from being constantly pursued by the mad cunt and have gathered together on a nearby brightly lit world, awaiting the inevitable last stand. Rainer must be eradicated. Got shot. Fucking damn it. This is a cluster. <laughs> Fuck most foul character. You're right, Phoenix. But we have to defeat Rainer because if we don't, there won't be anything left of the universe. Well, Rainer's got a lot to answer for. All right, then. Yes. <laughs> I shall stand till the end. Remember that we're up against the most powerful cunt in the universe. Defense won't be easy. What? <laughs> I'll see you, man. It's dead. Rainer, you punch. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck you. Well, now. If it isn't Little Rainer, I had a feeling we'd be meeting each other. Oh, shut up. I'm the man who's gonna fucking kill you, cunt. Today, <laughs> you won't army at my back. Tough talk, Jimmy, but I don't think you have. I've always seen you. Amazing. <laughs> Wang. Well, fuck. He ain't taking us without a fight. The time to defend against Rainer is now. The time for our fucking stand. <laughs> Incredible. So here are the basic rules. You have three separate bases, one for each race. Your units cannot leave their respective bases. You have ten minutes to amass a good enough defense to combat Jim's initial assault. When this time is up, Jim will choose a base at random to attack, and will attack for it for one minute before recalling back to his humble abode. This process will loop. However, the recuperation intervals will be five minutes long. So we've got five minutes in between Jim arrivals to continue to build up, basically. The morale of your troops is already low. It only takes the destruction of your workers, unit producing structures, and attacking structures to make them off themselves. Remember that this is per base. Okay. If you are thinking of making mass cloaked units slash lurkers, don't even try. Rainer has hacked many observers to spy on you. Okay. There's plenty of resources, so don't worry. And lastly, the most important thing of all. Ah! I hope you remember that because it's really important. <laughs> anyway, have fun. How did I know that it was something retarded like that? If you can, that is. I knew something was going to be happening there. I'll be seeing you. Don't say that. Survive the gym. Now go. Okay. I'm going. I was uh, he hesitant there because I didn't know if there would be a secret or something. Okay, so here we go. We've got Moolah. Let's get mining. Fucking Mental Gym Rainer by Butane Boss. And we got some credits here. I won't read all of those. Let's go ahead and get some stuff going here. We got Kerrigan. Let's move our overlords off to a corner. And we've got Duke as well. Uh, we don't have anything starting off for the Terrans, so why don't we start getting some defenses. I did not ask for permission for any of the, those sounds. Alright, that's probably good. So we can see there are these invincible observers here that... Zealots and goons are quickly and slightly cheaper to, quicker and slightly cheaper to produce. 
Hang on, that's not cunty y'all. Why is he so, uh, he's a, he really likes the cunt word. Okay. So, zealots are only 50 minerals. That's good. For our purposes. We need to, uh, we need to deal with Raynor in some fucking crazy ass way. Okay. Just keep making drones. We've got a couple of SCVs here. Please. Uh, trying to keep up with all of this is obviously going to be pretty challenging. Uh, keep that up here. We need a spawning pool, so let's go ahead and drop one down there. Having income from all three races is going to be pretty important. Uh, we still have some time, so I'm not worried too much about anything. Marines look like they're unchanged. Let's just keep making SCVs. Drones. Probes. I already like the idea that there's like, uh, you know, obviously this is, there's a lot to like about this fucking concept, just because it's so off the walls, it's so crazy. That's, uh, that seems to be the ideal. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go. It's just Jim Rayner, remember, I don't think there are any other units on the map um, that exist as, like, enemies, besides these observers, obviously. So, that's something that we have to keep in mind here. You may make devouring ones instead of zerglings. You don't need to up, don't need upgrades, and they do considerable damage, but they cost 200 per egg. Okay, well, let's fucking do that then. That sounds good. Oh yeah, they are called devouring ones, and they have the same crazy stats. Uh, let's grab an academy, because presumably there will be some Terran infantry changes, but maybe it'll only be for the refinery stuff, I don't know. Or factory stuff, excuse me. And let's go ahead and build a pil another pylon over here to complete the OCD wall there. We also need a cybernetic score for our... Um, obviously we need one of those for our Dragoon production. I guess we'll go ahead and slap a refinery down over there. Uh, and let's go ahead and build a cybernetic score. It would be cool to also get a forge. Getting bit workers. Okay. Why did I build an overlord? By the way? What is wrong with me? Let's get a lair on. We have the money. Guys on minerals for sure. Let's go ahead and get a comsat. Why not? It's actually, there's a more of an argument as to why. You, there is an argument for why not. There. It's why. Well, what the fuck am I gonna use it for in case Rainer gets cloaked by arbiters or something? I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Honestly, it's all crazy. All right, let's get singularity charge here. And uh, it looks like we have access to the full tech tree, so maybe we should go for Reavers. Because those, like, those seem like they would be pretty useful. We could also get a bunch of ghosts, since Rainer is light. Uh, but obviously it's going to be a while before we have access to that side of the tech tree. Speaking of which, let's grab a factory. Go ahead and queue that over there. So far, no tooltip about... Um, you know, what units to... Uh, No, no tooltip as to what changes there have been to Terran units, if any. So, let's just keep getting bunkers. Now we're getting to the point where it's about three minutes, so that's why I just saved there. I'm very worried that one of our, my lesser prepared bases is going to be attacked, because the Protoss seem pretty okay with all of their, their stuff, so that's why I dropped that quick save, just because I was very, again, rather worried. Um, we have Duke Yank in a mounted tank, and he does 200 damage. Well, he seems like a hero we definitely want to keep alive. Let's make a couple more Marines here. Uh, more probes, sure. And we need more Dragoons as well. They don't cost too much. Oh, yeah, I was going to get a robotics facility, so let's do that. Um, job's finished. That was the factory. Okay. Let's grab a starport up here as well. And this. I am going to drop another bunker. I'm really deathly afraid that I'm going to get my dick sucked as I... As is my 
customary way of explaining that. A lot of people are like, what do you mean? Wouldn't that be a, a great thing? Oh, not Kanti at all. Siege mode researched by default. Smiley face. Wow. What a nice, what a nice boy. Am I right, guys? Oh, we even had extra supplies up here that I didn't even fucking see at first. Um, okay, so... Let's build a robotics facility. What is it? There we go, I figured it out. Stick some idiot on gas. We don't have access to shuttles. And rem we have to remember that we can't... Uh-oh. Uh oh no. Oh no. Holy fucking shit, he does some damage. Oh yeah. Oh shit. We lost a hero. Well. This is not good. Uh <laughs> Well, since I know what to expect now, it seems like we're probably going after Let's let's reload. Because honestly, that is a that's a fuck ton of health. I did not expect him to be have like that much uh that much health, I guess. I don't know. And he does an obscene amount of damage. I shouldn't have not expected. Like, that That seems <laughs> about what I should have expected, probably. So, we can build a lot of units just to keep... Like, we need a lot of spam units that he will be hung up on. Because there's nothing that's going to survive fucking insane shit like that where it's 451 damage or whatever he does. So let's move... Edmund puked back. And we'll just keep getting in basic infantry. Stim pack, sure. I, don't, I mean, it's not gonna... If we stim units or not, they're still gonna die instantaneously, so... It doesn't really matter too much. So in this instance, like, Reavers would be nice, but ultimately, like, Harry Potter 5? <laughs> Cause, why? Because see, was there some... I missed some joke about that. Uh, let's go ahead and get that. And we, ju we just need a bunch of zealots on this end. And then over here, let's grab a bunch of these. Uh, and we need Zerg. We need devouring this. Is Obligatory Kerrigan. Hey, as long as she's not like Sun Goku's Kerrigan, I'm totally fine with that. Um, we can build bunkers, but as you saw, that they, they did fuck all against Rainer, so. There's no way to, like, wall him in because of this rocky ground, which is obviously very intentional. So, it's just... Yeah, I knew we were going to get Jay Barino blocked in a second here. Uh, let's just keep building supplies. And upgrade there. Yeah, Ghost seemed like a good unit to use against him, but he also has, like, a, an obscene amount of armor, probably, so... Okay, let's try this again. Where's he coming from? No, he's coming here again. Alright, let's get him. Fuck him up. As long as we can hold him off. And keep Duke alive here. Edmund's here. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Well, he's at least going to presumably not kill all of our structures. Okay, yeah. He got pulled back. That sucks that we couldn't keep Duke, Duke alive, obviously. It's not ideal. So let's... let's res let, we shall overcome. We shall rebuild. Um, so again, we can't build dropships, presumably, because there would be... It'd be too easy to hide uh, Duke in there or something, I don't know. Now, there are different endings to this map from what I understand. Um, why would I even get medics, honestly? We'll just get one shot anyways. Uh, get more of these, get leg enhancements. Oh, we need that support bay. Okay. Now, what is the... the mission objectives are to survive him. I don't know what that means. Like. I presume that maybe we can eventually kill him, unless he's getting healed, which I can't check for right now. So, I don't know. 
Okay. Uh, so I rebuilt this. Just keep getting these units here. Let's keep getting guys on minerals. And let's get a science facility so that we can get ghosts like I was talking about earlier. We can also build vultures, even though they'll die in one year. And I guess we can get a comsat so we can scan for where Rainer is. I think he's in the top left. Uh, let's get melee and I it, I assume Car <laughs> we can buy Carapace for basically no money, presumably because it doesn't actually do anything, <laughs> uh, which is fair. I guess. Sort of like why would you even bother getting it? Uh, we can get mines, I guess, but I presume they won't do too much. Uh, covert ops, and then we're gonna grab another barracks. And again, right now, I guess we can also get some tanks. Um, I'm not super sold on the idea that they would be super useful, but we can get them. And on this end, we need to spend our money over here as well and make sure that we have enough units to hold him at bay for a minute. Remember, that's how long we need to hold him at bay for. Now, thankfully, we have fast training zealots, and they're cheap. So that, to me, seems like we have a, more of a defender's advantage over in this area. But like, static defense seems completely pointless. You know what would be really nice is High Templar, since Psionic Storm ignores armor. What we can do is we can build those as well, uh, presuming he has a, a huge amount of obscene... Um, I, I'm just assuming that he has obscene amounts of armor. Uh, okay. This. Keep getting this stuff. Let's get some zerglings. Some devouring ones. And we have a drone here. Okay. So... Oh, maybe he's in the middle. So he doesn't heal. He does have an obscene amount of armor. Tanks should still do some da a decent amount of damage to him. Okay, let's uh, save because I forgot to, and hope that we can hold out wherever he comes out. Oh, he's up here. Let's side storm. everything. Yeah, the devouring ones seem like they can hold him at bay for quite a while. Oh no. No, no, no. Not the Hilaire. Attack him, overlords. Oh, holy shit. Alright, we lived. See, that sucks, because if we had saved him, if we had just done a little bit more, we probably would have been able to get out of there now? without losing our lair. That's fine, we can just do it here. Uh, and obviously we're going to try and rebuild the uh, defenses that we lost, because those, I guess they did something. Alright, so now the only one who hasn't been attacked is our boy Phoenix. Uh, why can we even get shuttle movement if we can't build shuttles? Uh, okay, Scarab damage, sure. And we'll grab some High Templar. Wolf? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, so we have Sion. It looks like that's what he was talking about there, is like... I can't check um, what, what the pop-up was, but we did get a, a pop-up of some kind. Okay, let's get ghosts. We need ghosts, vultures, mines... I mean, these aren't really good. I can't imagine these are going to do a lot of damage. And then let's get a lot of fire bats to meet him. I'm really terrified now that we're going to have just a metric shit ton of... Uh, we're going to get fucked, basically. That's what I feel like might happen. We kept Kerrigan alive. Let's get more defenses over here. I don't know if it's possible that the... Um, I don't know if it's possible for the AI, the for Rainer to go to the same base multiple times in a row, or or what? Uh, 
presumably it could happen, so I'm just going to prepare like it could. And let's go ahead and save again. Um, sure, we can get plus one weapons. Let's see why not. And then we're just, we are actually just going to stuff these guys in a bunker because I don't really give a shit about their ability to cloak. Let's go up another bunker. Get it done at 10. That bunker can probably put in a better position. Hey, get back over here. You're not done till I say you're done. Alright, we need way more like fire bats. Just units to hold him at bay. That's all we can all we can do. I just hope he doesn't go to fucking Kerrigan again, because obviously that would be a disaster. Oh boy. Destination. Uh, okay. Thanks. Just getting shit. On, kids. Um, okay. I think we are good to go here. We can probably get another armory, I guess, for. Um, no, we probably don't need to. We're not, I don't think we're going to be getting ships. Uh oh. Oh no. I don't think Kerrigan's ready for him. Oh no. Hide, Kerrigan. Run and hide. Okay, we prioritized my evolution chambers. Okay. Whew. Well, the Zerg are really not doing very well here. Um, let's grab more drones as soon as we have the ability to do so. We really need to focus on uh, getting a lot of these Zerg built back up here. It's going to be really bad until we can do that. A spawning pool first, okay. The Protoss, on the other hand, are, are ready. They're ready to go. It seems like we are all set with these guys. I don't think they'll run into too many complications. Although I say that, and I'm sure it's like impossible to actually fully prepare. Um, yeah, let's get more these reactors, sure. More ghosts. Why not? And then just marines and fire bats. Probably fine. We need another f barracks up there, probably. Keep getting uh, workers, mostly. And we need a lot more devouring ones. It kind of sucks that they're so expensive, since otherwise they would be a lot easier to mass produce. And obviously their health values don't actually matter. They will do some more damage, but ultimately I think that the... Uh, there isn't as much of a point to that as maybe you you might initially think, since Rainer's just going to live forever anyways. <laughs> That's what we've seen. Uh, the Sunkins also feel like maybe a, a bit of a red herring in that regard. I guess I really just need more hatcheries. Uh, so that I can produce more units uh, a lot quicker. Let's grab melee attacks. And upgrade complete. What upgrade was completed? Who knows? We can get tier three weapons though for our infantry. We can also order tier two weapons for our vehicles, which would be nice. Oh, I can place more mines. This will probably just kill all of my units, so I can move them back. No, 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 don't do that. We can try and irradiate them. Maybe that'll ignore them. Right now. That stuff is fucking expensive, though. Okay, let's save again. And hope, again, that he goes for the Protoss, or even the Terrans might have a better chance of surviving than the, uh, 
the Zerg do right now? I need way more Zerg. I need, yeah, I just need way more Zerg ones. I need way more devouring ones. Alright. Let's, uh, let's keep it rolling here as these tanks are often quoted saying. Uh, get more ghosts. And more Zerglings. They take a while to build because, again, they use the Devouring One stats, which includes an increased build time. I think it's double. Okay. Where's he going? He is going to the Protoss. All right, boys. Your time to shine. Hey, kill him. What? Fuck! I almost want to reload just because of that, honestly. I might have to reload, I eh? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, you ran out of stairs. Oh, what an asshole. You killed their reaver. Um, that's fine. More of this, more of that. I gotta just start stowing my heroes in the back. Phoenix is completely worthless, basically, on this mission. Okay. Yeah, get more overlords. Okay, so now the Zerg, I think, are pretty decently equipped to hold them off for long enough with the mass Zerglings. The Zealots worked out, but we suicided a lot of them out of our base. I feel like Dragoons are actually mostly pointless. Uh, the damage dealers are going to be our High Templar, and the Zealots take one hit to die anyway, so we don't have to worry about storming them. Um, so realistically speaking, I think it's just better... Why does he say wolf? What is that? Is that like a... I don't know, I have no idea what that Wolf. Uh, maybe... I... I... I hate fucking dogs. Get him out of here. Okay. Let's get vehicle weapons, more tanks over here, more science vessels maybe, and more supply depots. That's a tough ask since we don't have any SUVs up here right now, so this is the only area where you can really build supply depots. I sent an SUV up here to build another barracks, I don't know where he went. He got stuck somewhere and fell inside Amon's asshole or something. Um, okay, yeah, sure, we'll do that. Let's get a Queen's Nest. More, uh, more Zerglings. This guy over here. Um, okay. Let's get Reaver Capacity. And obviously we can keep getting um, Reavers, Scarabs here. I'm not like Jay Barino, guys. I don't have a hatred of Reavers. Let's make more High Templar. We need a lot more. Uh, okay, we need more. S I think we need more probes here. This does not look. S oh wait, no. Maybe they're all just stuck in the same spot. Cause I remember building a lot more probes than. What would I have here? So I think they're just stuck because of the way that you they can't get access to the back mineral patches. Might be a, a bit of a design flaw there. Okay, so let's save again. We're putting down some hatcheries here, which is presumably what we're supposed to do. So this, I, if you can't tell, this is certainly a very different approach to Brood War map making than anybody else has probably attempted for this contest, which is really cool. Now, obviously, Spawn Broodling is disabled, but I think Ensnare would be a great fucking tool in this case. Slow his attack speed down, slow his movement speed down, slow him the fuck down. And, oh, we can't hallucinate. Fuck, I was going to suggest to myself that I actually do go for a, a, you know, start putting Jimmy on mushrooms or something. Get him to, to slow the fuck down. We've got more Reavers. I don't actually know how useful they are. Presumably not very. Um, so we do have supplies. We can build here. Let's get more ghosts. And we've got these tanks that we can bring in. Okay, where's he going? Is he Zerg? He's Zerg. All right, boys. Uh, we don't have access. We can parasite him. Oh, wait, we don't have any access. Okay. Let's get the... Uh... Where's Kerrigan at? I think we can hold him off here. We 
Miss Kerrigan? Okay. Yes, I think we can hold them off. Oh, get him away from Kerrigan. Oh, that is so fucking good. Plus 30 seconds attack time. Oh, so he's going to attack for longer now. So we really need to get kick this into high gear and make sure that we have enough defenses. So I need I need like twice the amount of zerglings that I had in that area. Meanwhile, over here we can just keep getting everything. Probably. We can change our rally points over here as well. Okay. Right, let's move the uh, queens. We need more of them as well. So we can just keep him ensnared. That's like an innate advantage I never even considered that the Zerg would have, but they do have it. Um, let's move this over here. Move these Zerglings out of the way. I actually think that the sunken colonies are useful for, like, waiting for Zerglings to respawn. The question is, would the money be better spent on Zerglings? Probably. But I think maybe they'll do more damage to Raynor than, uh, than the Zerglings will. So that might be a reason to keep them around. Let's uh, order up a hive. And then just dump the rest of our current money on the colonies. Okay. We have four queens right now. We'll grab the fifth. And then the rest of our money is all going to be... I guess we can get clean energy, but the rest of it's going to be Zerglings for up here. That's all we're going to be spending our money on. So let's change our rally points to here. I don't have any production structures hotkey, just because... <laughs> well, we've got a lot of different races, so it's pretty hard to keep track of everything. I could get Defilers, but I have a feeling that they're super special up ability that I would actually want to use in this context. Uh, Dark Swarm is probably disabled because it would literally make it impossible for him to do damage to us. Oh yeah, let's get some overloads. We have no fucking overloads, guys. Let's go ahead and throw some more guys on that. Uh, I guess we can get a high dose then, just, just to see what's up. And then maybe... Oh, we need more overloads again. Okay. All right. Meanwhile, more High Templar and more Ghosts. See, the thing is, I feel like the Terrans are at a distinct disadvantage compared to the other races. We don't really have any junk units that we can occupy his time with. We can defensive matrix some stuff, but I don't see how it would be as useful as maybe... Like, I, I don't know. We don't need EMP. It's completely worthless in this context. Okay, let's save again. And we need tanks, probably. We can order up weapon upgrades again. Um, we don't really need to worry about upgrading that. Let's go for melee attacks again. And let me grab a defiler mount. I mean, we'll see. We might get attacked at Zerg again, and it won't matter, or Protoss. But as soon as this happens. It looks like he is going for... No, he's going for the Protoss. Okay, excellent. We lucked out in that capacity. So let's get ready here. Let's get more Zealots on into the fray. More Zealots. More Zealots. More Zealots. Whoa. Those are expensive units. Oh man, he took so much damage. Where's the zealots at? Oh, I think we lost like pylons or something. Oh shit, we might actually lose the the Protoss here. Why are we building these zealots? Did we run out? Did we get supply captives, Protoss? I think that must have been what happened there. We must have lost too many pylons or something, and then all of a sudden we, um, we lost it all. 
We didn't lose any tech, just a gateway and a bunch of all of the, obviously all of our fucking units. Every last one of them died. So we've got a lot of rebuilding to do. Let's drop a, a preemptive save here. I don't think we'll need to use it, but it's good to have that shit available if, if necessary, if it becomes necessary. And we'll drop a cannon here just to be harassing. But he lost a lot of health. Every time we, we uh, storm him to death like that, we take away so much of his health, which I think is really, really important. So, what did I just order up? Argus Talisman. Oh, I was expecting another gateway to be there. And it isn't, because... Well, obviously. We know why. Rainer happened. Rainer is what. My life for iron. Um, okay. No, we, we couldn't have been supplied lock. I'm looking at the supply now, and I was reading the Terran as our current supply or whatever, but... No, that doesn't make any sense, clearly. Okay. Oh, shit. I think I was lacking on um, gas mining this whole time. I should have known that that would come back to bite me in the ass. Um, let's just get more marines. For the time being, marines and fire bats. I want to make sure that I have access to this stuff when necessary. Alright, so yeah, Psionic Storm is really, really fucking useful, and it, that's why I keep getting it, I keep using it for, um, from Kerrigan as well, because it, again, it ignores armor, so it sort of removes one of the advantages that he has. Um, okay, so we've got all these queens. Grab, uh, stuff here. You know what we need is more supply over here, obviously. We've got another tank. I can only hope that I've done enough preparation here to, to the point where this is... This is enough. Now I'm supply block. I can't get onto the bridge. The bridge is the point of no return, I'm pretty sure. Let's save again. Sort of completely outmodes the... Uh, like, completely makes the... <laughs> makes it worthless that I even did that earlier save. Um, let's plague. We can get plague at the very least. That'll be useful. And then more Zerg units. It would actually be better for us to build, like, drones to consume than Zerglings, obviously, based on mineral cost alone. Alright, let's scan him in preparation. I don't know if I'm ready. Is he going for Protoss again? He is, okay. This is our chance to do some serious damage to him. Let's get more Zealots ready. Zealots up the ass, boys. Okay, storm him. Keep storming him. Come an Archon. We need more Zealots. Where are my Zealots? Not the Nexus. I need that fucking building. Zealots! Oh shit, I clicked somewhere. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We can still live. It's not over. Storm Okay, well, we lost a lot that time. How did that time end up worse than... Oh, it's because of the extra... Yeah, I was thinking back to the other last few times. Obviously, we need to rebuild the Nexus here. Um... We lost a lot of probes to the Bridge of Death over there. So let's just get a fuck ton of Zealots. Because we clearly need, like, way more Zealots than we keep thinking that we need. The answer is always more. This is also going to really uh, hinder our kid-eating sicko. Oh. Okay. Thanks. Oh. He died, LOL? <laughs> 
Oh, he's got Sidestorm. Storm. Lieutenant Kerrigan reporting. A walking paradox. I agree. I'm waiting on you. All right. Well, she, that's really good. We can put her in a bunker because she's gonna deal concussive damage. Um, let's get Metasynaptic Node and then we'll get Consume. So again, zealots, zealots, and more zealots. Okay. And then we can, if we can drag him in this direction, it, it's going to be dangerous for our production, obviously, but I think it's worthwhile if we can just distract him, make him walk further. Uh, I would, is Maelstrom available? Oh shit, we could have been swimming in extra time this whole time. Okay. Let's get all the probes. You're all back to mining. Make some more because we need more. And we're just going to focus on uh, minerals. For the time being. Um, okay. That should be okay. We have some time. Let's save again. And Maelstrom plus Perpetual Psionic Storm will be so fucking good. I did not expect... I forgot I said my hotkeys to the like re more reasonable left side of the keyboard uh, buttons. I should just set it in all the QWER or something. Then I would be... Uh, lame -o. Let's actually start getting these shield upgrades and stuff. I feel like they're gonna be... Like, these upgrades, right, would actually probably be pretty useful uh, on our heavy hitting heroes or whatever. Um, okay. More Zergling. Wow. We really have no fucking money. Alright. We'll, we'll actually use these workers since I'm sure that's triggering people. It's triggering me too, don't get me wrong. Okay, so we have... Maelstrom's 250 energy! Fuck! Okay. So what we need is... Way more zealots again. I think if he attacks us here, we're probably fucked because... Uh, we've lost so much time... Uh, rebuilding. Okay. Whew. Okay, uh, do we have more of these? We do, so let's grab the Dark Darkon out of him. Okay, where's he going? He's coming to us! It's up to you, Terrans! Fuck him up! Holy shit. Maybe we can do it. I think we can. I think we have them. He stopped to attack the spider mines, and they absolutely fucked him up. What more? Do we have more? No. The only vultures I have are out. Okay, more of everything. More of everything. Irradiate him. Fuck him up. Dude, he's losing so much health. We can actually kill him, I think. Fuck you, Rainer. Fuck you, piece of shit. We got you. And then I think we have to wait for the timer to respawn to reset. Holy shit, that was pretty clutch. Yes, executor. I'm ready. Hundred plus nine damage on a walking paradox. Fuck yeah. Is he still alive? Did he get respawned or something? Why did Blizzard add a cartoon anime fish to the game? Get him out of here. Well, I think this is an issue with uh, the the game itself, like the way that the triggers were set up. From what I remember, uh, there was a problem where like you would have to just wait until the next wave or something. Sometimes it would be it would just be weird. Jim has ah. Wow. Ostholen. Jugend har vi gjort en fucking lidt brød i
Amazing. And then we are victorious. Fuck you, Jim Rayner. So if we had saved Phoenix there, even after we lost to Duke, we would have gotten a different ending. I think this is, like, considered the bad good... The, the bad ending of the endings that you can get by winning. As if you lose two or more heroes. I think if you lose all heroes, you lose the game straight up. Um, those And those extra heroes... The kid-eating psycho, which is, I assume is a reference to Devourer's Children. The, uh, he died lol and the walking contradiction heroes. They were all, uh, they weren't considered actual heroes, I don't think. Like, not by the same metric. Whereas Phoenix, Duke, and Kerrigan, and Festy Kerrigan, were all, uh, the heroes that you had to keep alive. So if we'd lost Kerrigan, I think we would have just completely lost outright. I'm not super clear on that one. Um, that, I could be wrong. However, one of the things that is really funny about this game is that there's sort of different ways that you can cheese, quote-unquote, Rainer. Like, obviously, Mass Ghosts and, and Spider Mines was the way to go for the Terrans. And then for the Zerg, you can, like, ensnare him and plague him and then just build a bunch of Zerglings to keep him occupied. Uh, for... The Protoss, it's just a lot of Zealots with Psystorm and Maelstroming, which I didn't even get to show off. Uh, so if I were to play this again, I could probably get the top-notch ending, where you get, like, all of the... Um, you get, like, the the expert ending or whatever. I don't I don't know what the fuck you would even call that. The, uh, the ending where you have all of your heroes alive. Uh, or at least only lose one. Now, I'm not really exactly sure what that showcases, but... Um, Maybe, you know what, I think Jay Barino's playthrough of this, he lost a hero, and I lost two heroes, so maybe Deltron will be the, the magnanim magnanimous, mag magnanimous? magnanimous bastard that he is, and not lose a single hero, and then we can have all of the different good endings, all of the different victory endings, show up as uh, part of the showcase. But if not, it's not really the big deal, no pressure, Deltron. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a really interesting map, really fun. I, w I don't really know how much further you can go with a concept like this, but it does seem pretty uh, hilarious as a, as a concept. And um, you, for a map where you literally fight one enemy unit, it, it's pretty fun and it's pretty varied. And there's a number of different strategies that you can sort of um, come together or come up with and, and employ, which I think is a little shocking to me almost because you would expect that fighting one unit for what was it for almost 45 minutes or maybe around that point would be completely boring but no it was actually engaging so there you go props to butane boss uh, feel free to leave him some feedback in the description of the video you can find the discord server to join the jay Barino discord where he resides often uh butane boss that is he will answer any questions you have if you ping him probably uh, i don't know how often he's online otherwise you can just leave comments on the uh map itself uh, or on the video itself so uh, let's hear what you have to say, and in the meantime, stay tuned for more MapCraft coverage from my channel and uh, obviously Jay Barino's and Deltron's, whom you can also find on the D Jay Barino Discord server if you have questions or comments about them. All right, that's it. Bye.